All right, thanks for looking at our YouTube video. So I'm gonna show you today a um, heating system uh, that is safe and uh, novel and actually patented, uh, patent pending by me. I have a system that's a perimeter heating system that's designed to go under a pig rail and it works with a crate that you buy on Amazon for like $44. And I've had a lot of success with that. But I've had people now have called me up and said, hey, I've got the Dura Welp whelping box. I'm really interested in your system. Can I get one? So I thought, hey, why not? We'll just build one to fit the Dura Welps. So this is what we're doing today. So Dura Welp is a collapsible whelping box. Uh, it comes in different sizes. This is the 40 inch model. They've got a couple that are bigger and a couple that are smaller. And we have a system that fits all of these. So this is basically a container for your puppies and your mum when she's nursing, when she's whelping. And there's some slots in here that take pig rails. So there's a perimeter that goes all the way around. Very, very important part of any decent whelping box must have a pig rail. It's a place where puppies won't get squashed against the wall, where they're safe. If mum rolls around, she doesn't squash puppies. Super important, this has it. All right, great. So how do we install this? Well, the answer is, don't require any tools. That's the bottom of it. We're just gonna quickly make sure that it's, this is actually one that's been used by my daughter. We're just gonna give it a quick wipe down to make sure there's no nastiness on the perimeter, like there is right there, got rid of it. Yeah, right there's a bit, there we go, got rid of it. Okay, so then, no tools required. What you get from us is a similar kit that comes with our crate. Basically, a perimeter heat tape that we manufacture to fit the size of a whelp box that you're gonna use. And this one's been folded and I've folded a few times. So it'll all come out straight in a second. Oops. So there's a thermostat, and this thermostat is what controls, and we'll fire that up in a moment. So now I'm positioning this deliberately, I've got to see where the door is. Right there. There's the door, we'll turn it around. All right, we're going to put this in the back. And the reason that it matters is because there is a split in this thing where you can collapse the Dura Welp box and fold everything up, put it under your bed, and it requires that we have some flexibility in the cable right at this point here. So that's what that's about. So for that reason, we're gonna position this and we're just gonna re-straighten the tape out. And you've probably seen me do this in other videos with my crate system, exactly the same. Straighten it all out and there we go. Okay, right, so here we go, the installation. So basically what you do is you remove Start with an easy place. Here we go. So there is the corner. Sticking the corner on. Made it right there. And there it is. Stuck on. This is some 3M sticky stuff. You want to put it in the right place because it's not easy to remove once you've got it on. So now I've got to find an edge. And we'll just find an edge over here. There we go. All right. So I want to make sure it's up here. I'm going to do it from this edge here. So bear with me for a second while I find there's an edge. So you can see it's sticky backed. Get that side down where I want it. Get it lined up right. It wants to be nice and close to the edge where the puppies we want the puppies to be. So they're nice and safe. And if we get it quite right, I can reposition it quickly. There we go. Let's tack it down. And I'm gonna go over this after I've got the whole thing down and before I start using it, I'm gonna rub the whole thing down well. Okay, so here we go. Another edge, same thing again. Remove the tape. Position it where I want it. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna work from this edge over here. release tape now we're gonna make a little bit of room here because you see we've got to have this so it flex so this means that when the box is closed up it doesn't break the wire so that's what that's about if you were never going to collapse it it wouldn't really matter but okay so that's position where we want it come back this way We're doing quite well here Again, 
trying to get this done quickly so I don't bore you with the video. One might spend a few minutes longer doing it for your first time. Okay. And then we've got the last little corner to go right here. Line it up there. And there we go. Okay. Move it down nicely. So it stays there. What this about here is, is this covers up these cables. So we'll just peel this off. There we go. I supply you a bit of tape that you put over there to protect those pieces of cable. Now, if you bet, if you fold this thing up, that tape releases and the whole thing collapses properly. All right. Last part of the process, there is some uh, Velcro, just like they build their boxes. There's a little sticky tape on the back of this. I better have fun getting this off. I need longer nails. There it goes. All right. I'm gonna stick this on here first on the Velcro side so I can see where I want to position it. There it is. And then Tammy, if you just wanna come around this side here, we're just gonna position this in a nice place right there. That's it. The whole thing is done. It took a few minutes. So how the heck does it work? All right. So, plug it in with the power cable that it supplied. And here we go. Turn it on. And it comes, it's, it's, you can program this thing to be whatever temperature you want. I've got it set for 105 degrees. This temperature will start climbing until it gets to 105 degrees, it's got a red light, means the heater is on. When it gets to 105, the heater will shut off and it'll keep it exactly at 105. And if I want to, I can press this button and I can make it colder. Let's go with 103. And it'll set there in a second. Okay, so now what happens? Well, on the inside of this, heat is being generated right here, right around the periphery and nowhere else. So mum, she lays down on this, she's not hot, she's happy, contented mum, she'll want to nurse her puppies all day long. The puppies, if they're with mum, they're happy, but they will eventually get fall asleep, they'll get knocked off, mum will move around, they will then start walking or move, crawling around, and they can be as, as, as young as an hour old for this to work. And what will happen is, is they'll eventually bump into this pig rail. And the moment they find, or this, excuse me, this heat strip under the pig rail, and the moment they find this heat source, they'll fall asleep in 30 seconds. So what, you'll come in here, and I mean, it's a magical thing. I've got a video showing this working in one of the, uh, the other crate um, whelping systems that we've built. And what you'll see is, is the puppies are doing one of two things. They're either on mum nursing, or they're fast asleep under the pig rail. You're not generating, you know, they've got a, I don't know what the whelping, lamp is the dura welt cells but it's probably a couple of hundred watts this is generating about 60 watts of heat and it's only going in one place around the perimeter under the pig rail what's the temperature up to now Tammy? so we can see we're already right where we want to be we're already about there so it'll actually it's actually gone a little bit over it'll start dropping back down there it goes dropping back down and then if you watch this for about a minute you'll come back and look it'll be right at 103 the temperature that i've set it for so well, you've got but, the concrete under here. Yeah, it's right. Warm. Yes, right. So such a su it, it's a beautiful system and it's so safe. It makes puppies go to the place where you want them to be. Puppies aren't can't get squashed and can, can't get cold and more importantly as well, mum doesn't cook. So you can get find more information on this on our website www.lovemypups.com. L O V E M Y P U P S.com or you can go to our webpage for our, our products like Shipmate and our incubators, and that's on mybreedersupply.com. Um, why do we do this? Because we raise Frenchies. We've been doing this, we've been raising uh, healthy puppies for, I don't know, 20 years. And, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. It's a better way to do things. I've actually been working on a, a collapsible uh, and um, shippable whelping box now for a couple of years and the culmination of that is basically this heat tape idea that can be used on not just the product that we sell but on products that you've already got. If you've got a whelping box 
and you want to add a heater system to it, we can probably help you out. If we can get dimensions of it, we can probably build a custom build heat tape for it. It's a bit more expensive if you've got to custom build it, but this system here costs about the same as what they sell you a silly heat lamp for. It's on all the time. The heat lamp that I hate. So much better. Not only does it not heat the whole room up, not only does it not heat mum up, but it also puts the puppies in the place they need to be under the pig run. Hey, thanks for watching. Good luck with your puppies.